What's up with the squad? Back with another video. Make sure you have to like, but that's good. But definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, watching these reactions. Make sure y'all go check out Doug Ace out in the description box down below. Amazing information. Um, <clears throat> one of one of one of the realest ones. One of one of the best ones on YouTube. Uh, so make sure y'all go check them out. Definitely uh, geek to get in this one. So let's get right into it, y'all. It is massive. This is massive news. Trump's bond by corrupt Letitia James, the amount that he has to pay, just got slashed in half, which I believe proves it's corrupt. It's it's an admittance of guilt already. Preemptively, Trump just won half of the amount. Gone. Let's read an article on this, and then I'll wrap up with Kevin O'Leary at the end. But welcome to Doug in Exile. Once again, Trump wins. He keeps winning. He's going to keep winning. And this is going to be beautiful, guys. They're not going to get them. That's the big news. If you're still on board, let us know in the comments below. Say, I'm still here. I still believe we're still going to win. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Here's the villains at NBC News reporting a headline. New York appeals court reduces Trump's bond in his civil fraud case to $175 million, a mm. victory for the former president. That's NBC uh -oh. News, guys. That's the bad guys. That's Sauron. That's Mordor. That's the devil. They're going a victory for Trump. So if you're sitting there glum and going, eh, nothing's going to change. Everything's bad. Everything's terrible. Take the victory, guys. Take the win. Yeah, and and I, I be saying that a lot in the comments, too. Um, you just got to have faith, honestly. You got to have faith, especially when there's, you know, corruption going around and stuff like that. When it's bad going around, like, you, you just gotta have faith, you know. Um, God, God, God is real, and and He works. You know, He 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 definitely does what what He what what He what He's supposed to. Well, I can't really say supposed to do, but y'all know what I mean. You know, uh, it's it's a blessing. You know, when it comes to you know, God. I mean, that's that's just what it is. And like people being so so messed up and corrupt as they are, you know, <clears throat> look what happens. You know. Look what happens. And that's why it's always important. You know, and, and I can't I can't really throw that on a lot of people, but you know, that's my belief. And I do talk about it on my channel. Is I, I believe in God, I pray to him. And that's why it's important to pray. You know, even if it's something like this. And and what he's going through right now, what Trump is going through, I mean, come on now. Ain't not, ain't nothing wrong with a prayer. I mean, that's just what it is. Let's throw some confetti. Woot, 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 woot. The court also gave Trump an additional ten days to post the bond, which the former president said Monday he would pay. Here we go. A state appeals court ruled that Donald Trump and his co-defendants in New York civil fraud case have 10 days to post a $175 million bond down from 464. That's slashed less than half kids. Uh, mm -hmm. That was originally due Monday when they tried gouging and manipulating Trump. This is beautiful. I love it. The 11th hour ruling from a panel of state appellate division judges. Okay, so they, they sent it up to the appellate court, a bunch of different judges. I'm shocked. These guys are helping Trump. I, I figured they say you're guilty and you get the death penalty is what I expect from New York scumbag judges. But no, they're going, guys, this is an embarrassment. What Letitia James and Judge Angeron did, we can't stand behind. It won't hold. We look too stupid, and Trump is going to win the presidency. They go, we have to pretend like we're more fair. The 11th hour ruling from a panel of state appellate uh, division judges, all appointed by Democrat governors, guys. These are the Democrats. Why are they giving Trump a break? is a major victory and relief for the former president whose attorneys had said coming up with a larger bond was a, quote, practical impossibility. That is, and by the way, by the Democrats changing this topic, they have agreed with that statement in action, okay? The ruling also means State Attorney General Letitia James's office cannot yet begin collecting on the judgment. So was she ever gonna get Trump Tower? She thought so, but oh, keep your grubby hands off his property for just a few more seconds, you Marxist, you redistributionist of wealth. Quote, I greatly respect the decision of the appellate division, and I'll post the $175 million in cash or bonds or security or whatever is necessary very quickly within the 10 days. And I thank the appellate division for acting quickly. 
said Trump. He thanked him in front of a camera after he left a New York courtroom uh, for a hearing in the hush money case. Now, before Monday's ruling, Trump was liable for $454 million. Most of the fraud judgment from that amount he owed had been increased by more than $111,000 a day because of added interest. Trump hmm. claimed on social media Friday the, he had nearly $500 million in cash, so he said he would pay it. That's where we're at on that. Okay, hold on. But that, that just go that just goes to show you right there. He said, you know, what he got towards his presidential campaign. And then, oh, we're going we gonna to go ahead and we going to, yeah, we need $454 million from you. We need that from you. Trying to knock him down. And the, and the crazy thing is what people fail to realize, and I'm going to say this, and I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you all this from, from experience. <clears throat> the support you have, and this, this goes for a lot of people, the support you have and, you know, the drive, the family members, you know, people that really love you, the, the people that really know the truth about you is more so of not money. So money, obviously, you need certain things, you know, to pay for money. Just, you know, having a presidential campaign and having this and having that, of course, you know. Um, but at the same time, I know for a fact, you know, I never obviously I'm, I'm not running for president or anything like that. But it's more than it's more than that. It's more than money. You know, you had a supporter. You had a support running. He has a ton of support. You know, having that support is more is more than the money. I tell you right now, with, with the the standing with with Trump right now, Trump can have not even a million in his in his in his bank account right now, and I guarantee, it's it, it, it's people that you know that are supported. Trump had what ten thousand in his account right now, ten thousand to his name. And it's people, I'm telling you, that is going to support, support, support. Supporters, you know, I'm telling you, when you when you had a support, when people really know, you know, the truth about you and when they riding with you and you they know that you you here for a change, they're going to ride with you. Forget the money. You know, they're going to ride with you. And that's just what it is. That's how I look at it. You know, they're looking at it all. Yeah, he 500 million going on toward my pay. Okay, we about to take four. We about to take all of it. You know, we can leave him, we can leave him a little a little forty million, but we gonna take all of it. You know, and that's that's messed up. That's that just shows you how mean people are, you know, how how bad people are. You know, and those people that's trying to do it, nobody people they ain't got your they ain't got they you're not gonna have that much support as the one you're trying to take it from. So just let that. Well, I think in. this happened. Kevin O'Leary is gonna tell you this was going to destroy New York. And Democrats said as much. They said, you know, this is what this appellate court did. They, we can't let you do this, Letitia James and Angeron, you morons. This is the Democrats going, what are you doing? You're blowing our whole game against Trump winning. We have to look reasonable. Here's Kevin O'Leary on Fox News. What's going on now is concerning financial markets all around the world because in the United States and everybody, what, I don't care what color you are, red or blue or independent, it doesn't matter. We are the bastion of safety when it comes to investing large pools of capital. That's what America represents. We have property rights, we have an appellate system, we have law people trust, and we give you good returns with the least amount of resistance. And now all that's gone to poo poo. But he did say something interesting. We have an appellate system. Guys, this is what the appellate system is for. In case you're wondering, why do all these court cases take so long? Why do they bump it up and just appeal everything? Because bad decisions come from psychos like Engeron and Letitia James all the time. That you have to have an appellate, higher court, more sober, more judicious, probably more careful of the law just by their very nature of existence, even when they're appointed by Democrats. They have a different job. I'll let Kevin O'Leary wrap this up. Happening in New York is tainting the American brand. I mean, seizing assets after 22 days? In a bankruptcy court, you get years to resolve this. This is not a good look on New York. It doesn't matter this Trump. It could be anybody. I think that's very bad for the American brand. And I also would argue that you think about if this is going to help New Yorkers, they should be asking for better management. Yeah, this is a big save for New York. These are Democrats just trying to save New York as a money making institution. Kevin O'Leary nails it. Love to hear what you guys think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And, and like I said, you know, it's just one of those things was important. And I deeply apologize. I had to sit here and pray a little bit for saying that, you know, um, 
the supposed to. Y'all heard that comment that, you know, I'm, I'm just talking. But um, <clears throat> it's just a simple fact of, you know, I look at the fact that it's more so a support. It's more than money, you know, and I feel like a lot of people just take it, especially this generation. It's all about the money. It's all about this. It's all, you know, and this is more than that. I, I, I can tell. I tell people all the time, you know, and try to try to be as humble as I can, you know, with everything, because it's more than it's more than the money. You know, obviously, like I said, you need it. You obviously need it to support your family. <coughs> Excuse me. Support your family. Um, you know, uh, food, you know, clothing, um, you know, housing, stuff like that, of course. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's more than money. You're you trying to stun on somebody or you just got to have it all. It's it's not that deep. I'm telling you, it's not that deep. Um, and it's a blessing. And stuff can stuff can be taken away. You know, stuff can be taken away. It can be turned around. Um, and that's why I try, um, especially people that's, you know, under under I would I, I don't want to say under me but people that you know I tend to mentor um to put them on the right track um I, I tell them all the time you know be humble you know and 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 try your best you feel me I don't 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 so much of oh I'm money hungry so I got to I want to take you know it's a lot of it's a lot of corrupt people out here and they're not teaching nothing you know they're not teaching no, the next person nothing you know and it's sad you know, but it is what it is. Make sure I hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Y'all see Trump for the win. Make sure y'all go check out Doug Ace out. Much love to everybody. Let me know y'all comments and thoughts down below. Much love to everybody. Um, you know, if y'all having a date, prayers go out to you. Praying that you have an amazing uh, rest of the uh, night, you know, and a better day tomorrow. But uh, much love to everybody. Catch y'all next one.